Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. Today we will see Swagger. So basically Swagger is used for API documentation. Let's get started. Here we are at Swagger.io. We can click on Tools, then Swagger UI. Here you can see, let's go into the live demo. What exactly we are going to create that we can see here so you can see right now we are on swagger ui and here we have some services api is already developed so let's click on sub service and then you will see what will be the request response types and uh, once you will click on try you will also send the request to the server by executing it and then you will get the response that means by using swagger one thing is it is used for document purpose documentation another one is you can also validate you can also send request and response through this one so let's say if i send execute so a status execute and then you can see here we are getting the response also same thing we can do using our node.js project so let's see how we can do using node.js project how we can create this ui so that we can directly check our apis through swagger instead of postman we can directly execute and see the response of our restful api in swagger so for that now here we are in our api book books api project in this project we have already developed apis to get the response to get the all books get book by id then here we have add books this is post method then we have put method and delete method so now what we are going to do we will use the same api and we can create the documentation so for that we have to first install swagger js doc so we have to write npm install swagger js doc at 6 dot zero dot zero so we are going to use six dot zero dot zero version and then we will write hyphen hyphen save so it will be saved in our package dot json also and after that we have to install npm install swagger ui express and then we will write hyphen hyphen save so this dependency will also be installed and once we will go here then we can check that we have now these two dependencies are also installed in our books api project now next thing is we have to create some definitions something like this you can see here we have to give the project name and definitions so we have to import const swagger swagger js doc equal to require swagger js doc this is first dependency that we can use in our project second one is we can write const swagger ui require swagger ui express these two dependencies we can import in our mongodb js project js file and then we have to write some definition so we can write const options equal to and then we'll write here def 
definition and inside definition we will add open open API and then version will be 3.0.0 then we can say info and inside info we will use title this title will be displayed there so I can write here node.js project node.js API project node.js API project for MongoDB after that we can write here version also we will write 1.0.0 then now we have added here info after info we can also write here uh, servers and servers will be local host colon localhost colon 8080 this is what we have to write from here so if you can see this is mongodb we are giving here port number 8080 so we have to use the same port here localhost 8080 this will be our server and we have used we have to write API so API API will point to this one then we have here server closed now after definition we can give here API's so in API's we have to provide the file name so for now we can say mongodb.js so API's where we have all the APIs listed so that particular file name you have to provide here mongodb.js file so this is one option that we have created here and now we have to use this API so for that we can use we can write const swagger spec equal to let's say I'll write swagger js js doc and then we'll pass here option this particular option we can pass here in this swagger js doc and then we'll write app dot use and inside we can say that our api docs so this is our url that will be follow and then after that we have to use swagger ui that we created on the top we can use swagger ui and dot serve and after that we have to use also swagger ui dot setup so in setup we can use swagger aspects this particular file name this particular object we can pass here swagger setup and then this one so here we have given this after that once you will save it and we will run it so let's run node mon and then mongodb.js if everything will be okay then now you can see this connection successful and whenever i will write api docs it should open so let's say i'll write localhost api hyphen docs so you can see here we are getting node.js api project and the server is not showing here so for that we have to check this server and here instead of api we have to write url let's try with this save it we can refresh it 
perfect so now we can see here the url is showing localhost 8080 so first thing is we have created swagger and then we have project name and then we have given version also server now we don't have operations as of now in the next tutorial we will see how we can create our first get request operation and how we can write api documentation for that